Hello and welcome to Programme 86. Programme 86 is actually based on Programme 57, going back a little way. Uh, but what it does now is when it calculates a volume profile, it then repeats that throughout the day. So for example, in this case, uh, we've got a volume profile starting at the 405 bar. The, uh, the length of the profile is set to 120 minutes and the profile then repeats from this bar, which is the 605 and so forth throughout the day. So let me show you the inputs and uh, talk you through it. Then I'll, I'll explain how the program works. So if we go to the study, edit studies, double click here, you'll see that we, uh, we have the input starting with repeat time. Now repeat time is the 120 I just mentioned a moment ago. We could change this to another time. For example, if we wanted it to repeat every 60 minutes, we could change that to 60. The first date, that is the date that we start our analysis. Now, there are a few options in this program. You can either use minutes, ticks or seconds. In, in the uh, price series provider that we use to create the profile. Now, clearly, if you're using ticks, you're trying to do a lot of processing. So what I suggest is that you start with minutes, a larger number of minutes, and then just sort of gradually reduce it till you get a sense of uh, what your computer is going to cope with without um, TradeStation locking up which it can do if you try and go back too long and you have the setting to ticks. So uh, that is the first day we're going to be an anal analyzing. And that is in the format of the number of years since 1900. And then the month, in other words, 06 June, and then the day in the month, 30. And then we have the start time. Now the start time, if I, I'm just going to cancel that just going to go back to this chart. The, the start time applies when this thing first starts. So in this case, if I go back to the first date, you'll see that this bar here starts at 2.05. Well, it's 2.05. I actually had a start time of 2.03. So what it's doing, it's starting at the next time after that bar. And then it will do the, uh, the 120 minutes in this case between each profile but what happens is when you get to a new day so I'm just going to scoot through here and this is obviously a continuous symbol but you'll see here we get to a new day and then the first analysis is actually occurring on the first bar of that day and that's what it will do from then on okay so continuing with the inputs the ticks or volume. Now this determines when you're calculating volume, you can either ask the PSP for volume information or you can ask it for ticks information. So one is for volume and zero would get you ticks information. The interval span. Now the interval span is the interval span of the PSP. So in this case, we've got an interval span of 10 and because int type is zero which stands for ticks the way this program works then we've got 10 tick uh, profile now we could say well we're going to start with minutes and this is a five minute so let's say we're going to do the analysis for one minute and let's just uh, let's leave everything else the same so this is going to do the calculations a lot more quickly but you'll see now that there probably is or there is some detail missing in the volume profile also uh, I should mention that the volume profile is using the length of these um, these bars it's only it can only draw to the end of a particular bar so there is some detail missing here but hopefully it gives you enough idea as to where the uh, the, the the volume profile strength is for a, for a particular time period. Okay, so let's just go back and see what else we've got. Now, all the colors I've made in this program are color objects. So they need to be mentioned between the quotes and we've got various color options. Now the, the hist color one, hist color two, that is for the volume profile. 
So what it's saying is it, we're, we're going between, in this case, Dodger Blue for the bars with the lower end of the volume scale to a red color for those at the higher end of the volume scale. And that is done on a continuous basis. Now the hist weight, the histogram weight, that is how big these lines are. So you can have a choice between, uh, I think it's one to six. So let's put in one and let's just change the alpha as well. So this is the histogram alpha. That is a number up to 255. So if I go 255, which is gonna be the darkest, we'll see what that looks like. And you'll see immediately we've got these, these thinner lines and it's not quite as easy to see the, uh, the color shift with those. So let's just go back to the study and again, just gonna make the uh, alpha 100 and make the uh, history weight to six. And then we finally got some colors for the plots on the chart. I'll show you those plots right now and try and explain what they're doing. So for each period, for example, for this period here, you can see I'm moving my, my mouse around. We're analyzing those bars within the period. What the lower line is, is the lowest bar during that period. And then what the green line, that is showing the highest. Now the third line is doing something slightly different. What it's doing is looking at previous period and finding out the bar or the price rather, where the volume was the highest, and then it's continuing that in the current period. So just a few words about how the program works. Um, for the analysis, what it does for each tick or minute or whatever period settings you have for the PSP, for each price, it will save the volume into a dictionary using the price as the key. And so for a particular price, if there are several volumes, several um, transactions that occur at that price, then that volume is accumulated in the dictionary until we've analyzed the entire period. Then what we do is we put those values from the dictionary into vectors and we sort based on the highest volume. And I say volume if we were using ticks, obviously we'd use ticks at each price instead. And then having analyzed the, uh, the values, we can then plot a, an amount which is um, proportional to the volume on the chart between the, uh, the first and the last part of the period. The other thing worth noticing, and maybe it's, it's uh, slightly confusing, but as you probably know, the time of a trade station bar uh, on a minute chart, and I am, this program is written for minute charts, like one minute, two minute, three minute, 50 minute chart. Um, the, the time is actually the end of the bar. So what we're doing is we're taking the next tick after the bar, the start bar, as it were, and then we're calculating for the period following that. So we're not actually including the volume for what looks like the first bar, but that is actually when that bar ends. So for example, if we had a bar, well, let's just see what bar is this. That's the, uh, the 605. We're not including any of the volume that occurs in that bar, but what we're doing is we're starting the very next tick after 605 and doing the, the analysis for the rest of the, uh, the time period. Anyway, hopefully you might find this useful. I'm gonna make it available at no cost for Gold Pass members. Anyone else could download it and look at the code if, you, uh, if you're interested. And please, if you're not already, join the Markplex M-A-R-K-B-L-E-X dot com email list. And of course, subscribe to wherever you're watching this video. Thank you very much.